gently lift her up a little bit and you'll see that yeah. her head's there. Yeah. Don't inject anywhere above the shoulder line. Yeah. So no shoulder, neck or head. The best place is around the skirt. Not down to the skirt, but just on the flank around there. Yeah. You can inject on the back, but there's nerves there that you really don't want to mess around with. And the skin around this side is looser. So you stand a better chance of doing it easily. So with your dominant hand, yeah. use the syringe in the dominant hand. Take two or three spines and pull them up. Can you see yeah. that? So that you've got skin in a tent. Put the injection in and you'll feel whether that's that feels a bit solid. That feels empty. You'll feel if it feels empty or solid. Once it feels like you're in a space, yeah. slowly just plunge it. Let go before you pull out. Let go of the scissors. Yeah. Before you pull the injection. Out. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it all comes squirting out again. All oh, right. Okay. Always cap it straight away. They're very sharp and they will hurt. Yeah. And you really don't want what's inside that hedgehog in you. Right. So do the antibiotic first. Yeah. Because it's important that goes in. When I say grab two or three, you saw the tent that was there. It was a fairly big, fleshy one. Yeah. If you only grab one, you'll get a thin bit of skin and it's easy to go in and straight out again. Right, okay. So, oh, let's just get this off your kid. It can be on the same side, but not in the same place. Right. So this one, the orange tip ones, are going to sting. So... She might move on. Yeah. Again, right. grab a few. Two or three. Lift the skin so that you've got a tent there. So it's away from her body. Yeah. Get the needle in. And you'll feel that you're feel in a space. You can go quicker with these ones because they're thinner. You right. know, there's not so much in them. And that's it. It all comes down to feel. I could show you that, but I can't show you how it feels. Feels. Right, okay. I can't see in the glass, please, John.